Hey my friends, welcome in. If you're new, my name is Ashley. Hey guys, this is the last week to my spring cleaning series. I deep cleaned every inch of this house and organized. So if you hadn't checked out those videos, the links will be provided down below. It is a playlist. So yeah, just hit the playlist and show your girl support. Now, my kitchen looks clean, kinda, right? Well, let's go deep inside these major appliances and scrub. These girls need love too. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing today. I'm also gonna be cleaning the outside surfaces of all of my stainless steel appliances, my fridge, and my dishwasher. And I'm just getting rid of all the grime and filth. Let's go. This process did start the night before. I am using the self-cleaning option on my oven. If you guys saw the ash down at the bottom, that is the residue from this self-clean. I'm just gonna start by using regular old soap and water to sponge off all the ash away so that I have a nice debris free surface to start the actual cleaning process. As you can tell, that self-clean definitely does the job for the inside of the oven. My focal point right now is gonna be on the glass. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my Mrs. Myers. I am scrubbing that all over, and I do like this product a lot. It's very, 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 what's the word, non-sensitive. Non it's pretty light. It's, um, it's not very chemically. God, can I speak today? Anyways, it's not very chemically. So yeah, I use my hands, I don't use gloves, I don't really love using the gloves, and I really, really have to use elbow grease to get off all of those burnt on stains. It does come off, girls, but yeah, I'm gonna speed through this part because like I said, this is 100% elbow grease, and yeah, this stuff smells really good, so I'm enjoying it, it is what it is. I did have to bring out some more tools to like really, really get in there. This is not a scraper. This is a cake spatula. I had an extra one, you know. I had to do what I had to do to get this stuff up. So I'm using a combination of my cake scraper, which is plastic, and this aluminum scrubber thing. But yeah, it works. Like I said, you gotta, you know, put it in there. I am so happy I skipped arm day because yes, your girl was tired after this. I did that y'all yes I'm just going over it with soap and water just to get rid of some of the residue but yeah this stuff looks so good I'm so happy so yeah I want the inside of the oven I am also going to be cleaning that crease in the middle um, between the door and the oven because yeah stuff does get down there so don't skip that part girls I am wiping down anything left behind away with a clean paper towel. Um, that's pretty much it for this. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the outside of the oven. Take off all of the nubs. You do not wanna bump the knobs and ignite the flame on this bad guy. I've done that before. Granted, I caught myself. I'm just letting you guys know, safety measure, take that junk off. <laughs> I'm starting off with my microwave. You know, everything that will fall down will fall on top of the stove. So yeah, go ahead and clean that off. I'm using, again, soap and water, as well as some multi-purpose spray. I know there's all types of remedies using lemon and all types of stuff, but multi-purpose cleaner works fine with for me. You guys, I know you guys are looking at that burnt spot, but someone, I won't call any names, put the complete tote of cookies from Chick-fil-A in here, and you know, yeah, you can just guess what happened next. It wasn't me, all I'm saying. But anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean her out with all of the basics. Don't forget the door. This part needs love too. I'm using the exact same soap, water, and multi-purpose cleaner to get her all nice and clean. I will be cleaning the outside of the microwave with my stainless steel cleaner, but you guys will see that a little later so that I can clean all appliances at one time. I wish I was sponsored by Wayman because I use this stuff all over the kitchen. This one is the Gap 
can I speak? Gas stove cleaner and it works so good. I love this stuff so much. I fell in love first with stainless steel cleaner and then I found this one. Yes, it is a must have for you gas stove lovers. It gets off all the grime and grease very, very easily and it leaves the black all nice and shiny. Like, I love it so much. Buy this, Wayman, support your girl. Sponsor me. <laughs> To my first love, the stainless steel by Wayman as well. I'm gonna spray down every stainless steel surface. Yes, I started with my oven. I should have started with my microwave, but it is what it is. I'm gonna wipe her down, just this part up here, as well as the front. I'm gonna wipe down my microwave, yes. Even the inner glass with this stuff, it works great and it shines it up very, very nicely. So it also hides fingerprints. Like, yes, I have a house of littles that get fingerprints over everything not to mention i do it myself so yeah i spray this on everything put this on everything Like I said, we're spraying this on every single stainless steel surface. Yeah, so go ahead and spray down your whole oven. Don't forget this part because this part actually gets the grossest, whatever. Obviously, I cannot speak today doing this voiceover, but anyway, we're gonna just keep going. This is definitely the part that I hate the most. I'm just gonna spray down my graters. Um, I don't know what all this stuff is called, but the grater things, the things that go on top of the gas and my knobs, I'm spraying all of that down with the gas Wayman cleaner. I'm gonna give it a good scrub, but nothing fancy here. I honestly hate this part and I will avoid it like the plague. Have you guys tried guessing what I'm watching on TV over there? I have been in awe with all of Station 19. I love those thriller type TV shows, 911, all that stuff. It's kind of my favorite and I've been binge watching Station 19 since 911 kind of went on a little break. They're coming back, but it's just coming back so slowly and I need me a series in my life. So yeah, that's what I'm watching over there. Let me know down in the comments if you watch that show. Or, what do you like watching? I'm also watching Handmaid's Tale, so yes, I'm so happy that you started back. Anyways, back to the video. I cannot tell you what type of artistic view I was having with this angle, but no. I'm cleaning this part off with my Wayman stainless steel. I'm following that up with some multi-purpose cleaner in this area just to get rid of all that calcium buildup from the water and stuff. I did have to pull out my handy dandy toothbrush just to get into those creases and crevices on top of this thing as well as behind it. Off camera, I am watching, washing <laughs> the grate that came with this portion right here. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going and going and going. I 
I did want to mention that I am no longer using a paper towel for my weight man. I forgot to tell you guys about that earlier. I have the microfiber that is also by the brand Wayman. So yeah, like I said, I love their products. They have a microfiber cloth to handle all the stainless steel cleaning. We are done. Everything looks so shiny. Look how clean guys. I am happy, happy, happy. Send me all of the pink hearts you can find down below if you've made it to this part of the video. Until next time, my friends, I will see you later. Mwah. Don't forget to follow the remainder of the series. Peace.